Hey, how we doing Lincoln with baseball? We're back. We're going to talk a little bit more about throwing and we're going to gear this particular segment towards our younger players, our four and five year olds, our six and seven year olds who are just learning the proper fundamentals and mechanics of how to throw. Right here I got my five year old. This is Mr. Nolan. Nolan's played t-ball for the last couple of years with Lincoln Wood. He's going to be taking the next step up to the coach pitch level this year. We'll see how it goes and we're really looking forward to it. But we're going to try to just kind of push him along a little bit. But we're going to do some things here working on some fundamentals of throwing. In particular, I got Nolan here. He's going to help me demonstrate some of these different techniques I like to see. Uh, some of the coaches or dads or the parent that's helping out or the big sister or big brother that can help help their little little brother or little sister uh, work on their throwing mechanics. It's so important. One thing I, I talk about all the time uh, with our youth, and I, it really it really appeals to them. I, I call it pet the dog. Okay, but you got a dog at home. You come down his head to pet him. You go down his back and you go up his tail. I like to see that position with the hand when we break out of our glove. Both our both our glove side and and our uh, throwing hand come out kind of on top. Pet the dog down back and up. When we get to this position, I like to see the ball facing away from the player. He should be pointing at, if he's the pitcher, he's pointing towards the second baseman and up in the power T. Notice, notice my shoulders kind of form a T a little bit. I got a little bend in my elbows, but I want to see the elbow above the shoulder. I want to see the pet the dog down his down his head, down his back and up his tail into this position before we deliver any throw. Whether you're throwing uh, a dodgeball in gym class or you're throwing a tennis ball out in the yard or if you pick up a rock and you want to throw it out into the water or something, get your arm up, get your arm up. When we get it up, it helps us with our elbow to lead the way. When our arm is up to create whip and create velocity and speed on all of our throws, your elbow gets up here, up above our shoulder, and when we go to throw, that elbow leans back we whip the ball with our hips and our elbow kind of leans back and we generate some energy and some whip to throw that baseball, to whip that baseball forward, creating speed. Okay, I want to see that. So some drills we can do, we'll bring Nolan up here. He'll put his glove on, he'll have a knee right here. All right, one knee, other knee, switch it. All right, glove on, good. All right, good. Let's put the ball in your glove, knee out front, sitting up tall, hands in front. Remember getting to our home base. I want to see him just close his shoulders off. We're going to keep our eye on the target. I'm going to say break your hands, pet the dog, down, back, and up, and freeze. Boom. Good. I'm going to check his hand position. I want to make sure he's looking towards his target. Remember our front elbow is so important to aim that front elbow and back of the hand towards the glove. Notice he's got a nice power T position going on. We've got to work on our balance, stay up nice and tall. And we can either throw the ball. We'll throw the ball. we got a net out there. So throw the ball, power T, break your hands, and throw the ball into the net. Very good. Notice he got a little short. He went from long to right to his ear. That's the one common problem I see some of our youth players doing. I said they, they get that arm, they get up, out, boom, and they tuck that ball right by their ear. Stay long. Lincolnwood baseball player, stay long. Stay out here. Keep that length there, and then let that elbow whip and lead the way and have good control on our finish. All right, back on one knee one more time, Nolan. No ball this time. Hands together, hands together, turn our shoulders, break our hands down, back and up and freeze. Very good. Notice if he had a ball, he'd have it pointing away. That's fantastic. His eyes are on a target and let's do a fake throw and hold your follow through. Throw and follow through. Good. I like to see his chest get out over his knee. When he delivers that throw, chest out over the knee, eyes on target. Very good, Nolan. All right. We can incorporate a ball into this drill. Whatever ball you want. It doesn't, have to, it doesn't even matter. Tennis ball is what we got here today. For young Nolan. All right, Nolan sits up tall. He puts his starts in a starting position here, puts the ball right outside of his, his, his uh, throwing arm knee. He's going to put his hands together. Very good. Hands together. And this time on his way down, backing up, petting the dog down, backing up, he's going to swoop that ball. He's going to swoop that ball right off the ground, swoop it down, back and up, point that ball away from him, and then we're going to deliver the throw. Okay? Sitting up tall, eyes on target, hands together. And we're going to break our hands down, back and up, picking the ball up. Good. And reach out and point that ball towards second base. Staying long, elbow on target, keep that elbow up and deliver the throw. Very good. Great follow through. That's one drill we can work on. We can work on that with a no throw. We can grab that ball up and boom, close our shoulder, arm on target. 
All right, stand up, Nolan. We're going to show these guys another drill. As you can see here, I went back with my painter's tape again. I put some painter's tape on the ground. Come on over here, Nolly. I put uh, a squares with his feet facing forward. The next square is turn 90 degrees here. I put a one next to that. That'd be step one. Step two, we're going to drop that foot in there. And as we go from two feet into our first step one, I want to see pet the dog down, back and up and freeze for the first couple. I put an arrow, that's step three. So I want that arrow and that throw to go this way, throwing the ball and leaning forward towards our target. Okay, we're gonna go no ball at first. To get our footwork down, he's gonna put his hands together. He's gonna take his right foot, stepping into the target, hands together, step in, stepping into the box, turning and breaking our hands. As we do that, we're here, eyes on target, and then throw and follow through. Back in the box. A little faster. Remember to bre start breaking your hands as you close this foot up because that closes your shoulder. All right. Stepping in, close your shoulder, break your hands, down, back and up. Very good. And throw and follow through. All right. We can do several of those. You can have a, a parent, an older brother, or sister, whoever, keep your eye on you, work on your footwork. I mean, this is just painter's tape. It's just laid on the ground. We could take it up anytime. But what it looks like, if you're a left handed player like me, all right, hands together. I step in this box, kind of quarter turn, boom, I close it up, break my hands here, boom, and throw and follow through, okay? A little faster, if you want to get uh, creative, you can make these spaces further, where, say I will start here, watch out, Nolly, and I'm going to step into these boxes like that, make the boxes bigger. Maybe you can cut them out of cardboard and tape those to the floor so we can move them around to really challenge ourselves, boom, and then boom. Boom. Okay. Just something to work on. I like this because one, it I have to put my foot in this box like this and that turns me to square up. Okay. Square up our shoulders. And that's very important. Extra emphasis on making sure our players are in that power T position. Ball is pointing backwards, front shoulders on target. We have the, the uh, elbows above our shoulder. And when we deliver, Body control, like I always talk about, being athletic, having balance in your throws, okay? A couple drills for you guys to work on. And we got it again, just up close here. Hands together, I turn, I break it, pet the dog, down, back and up and freeze. That works on getting us in the right T position. We can do dry ones, whether we're here. Boom, working on that, having a parent watch. Boom, we can do our footwork drill. Just to incorporate us getting in this awesome position, which is going to teach us how to throw so good down the road. I'm Sean Marshall. This is a pitching one-on-one geared towards our youth players.